Class, my name is Curtis White, and today I'm going to be giving a presentation on how to properly tie a Windsor knot tie. Now, the Windsor knot is my knot of choice, number one, because it's my wife's favorite tie. Yes. And also, it is the tie that I would use, and I use most of the time because I go to church, and it's best with your church suits. And also, if you're going to a job interview or you're in the professional sector, the Windsor knot tie is the best knot that you want to go with. Before I go into showing you how to tie a Windsor tie, one of the things that's important when you're picking out a tie is to make sure that you pick a tie that has the correct length. Very important that when your tie is completed that it falls right at your belt buckle. You don't want it to be too far below and you also don't want it to be sitting too far up above your belly button uh, when you finish tying your tie. So let me go ahead and show you how to go ahead and tie a Windsor knot tie. Now you want to also make sure that you have a mirror in front of you when you're tying your tie. And when you tie your tie, always make sure that the small portion of the tie is always on the left side and the larger portion of the tie is sitting on your right. Now what I do is you want to make sure that you take the large portion of your tie, which is the only part of the tie that is active. You want to go ahead and take that and move it over the small portion of the tie. You want the small portion of the tie maybe to sit just at your belly button or maybe slightly above. It just again depends on the length of the tie. You want to come around and you want to bring the large portion over the neck loop and it should be sitting over on the left hand side of your tie. You then want to come across and bring it over to the right hand side as such. And then you want to come up into the neck loop and bring it down. Once you bring it down, kind of pull on it and snug a little bit. And it should be sitting on the left hand side. You then want to cross over to the right as such. And then you want to come back up under the neck loop. And as you can see, you already start to form your knot. You then want to take the tip of the tie with the outside portion of the tie facing out and you want to place it inside the top portion of the knot and then pull it out. And there you have it. Now once you start becoming a professional at tying these ties, you're going to see what they call the dimple. It just makes you look more confident in the wearing of your tie. You want to focus on holding that dimple and as you pull, you want to pull your tie up as such, the dimple, go ahead and adjust your collar, place the smaller portion in a hoop if you have it, and as you can see that tie is falling right there at the belt buckle. I learned how to tie ties at an early age from my dad. He taught me when I was first going to church, and I just perfected the craft as I got a little older uh, and started to wear ties more regularly. Ties are so important that even Steve Harvey, if you know him, uh, has a very important thing that he wants to say about wearing a necktie, and I want to show a small portion of that video with you. I'm 46 years old, and I'm kind of ashamed to admit I cannot make a proper tie. This is the best as it gets for me. If you can't hear it, I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to make a proper tie for me when I'm going out somewhere. I want to learn how to make the Steve Harvey knot. You all know how to make Steve Harvey knot. Damn. <laughs> I make all of my ties wider than a normal tie, and I make all of my ties two inches longer. Because when you make them two inches longer, it lets you tie the bigger knots. Because bigger knots, they just look, especially on big guys, they just, they look real sexy. And so this is where I start my tap. I start at about above the second button in the middle. That'll give you a little bit of width. I do one crossover. I take it through here. I bring
bring it down once. Then I wrap it. I do what's called the double Windsor. Then I wrap it back the forward way and I bring it down like this. I tie ties every day because I wear a suit every day because I understand that women, all women, like a well-dressed man. So, you know, doing it like that, and if your tie was longer, it would be the right length on your stomach and your chest area. Let me straighten this up for you. Gotta pull them real snug, because they sit up there real tight. I like a nice dimple in my tie. And then, bam, my friend, you have a Steve Harvey Knot. That's a Steve Harvey Knot. Now go get you a Steve Harvey tie, yeah. and it'll be the right <laughs> lid on you. And there you have it, even from Steve Harvey itself. And he called it a double Windsor, but the double Windsor is the same as a Windsor knot. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Also, if you want to see any more information, you can go to kinos.com and they have a lot of do's and don'ts, especially about the wearing of the tie. Thank you.